In this video, I'll be giving you guys the best and worst song from Drake's Roll the Dog, in my opinion. So let's get right into it. So I think that the best is going to have to be 8 a.m. in Charlotte. It's a fantastic track. One of the best of the year. I love Drake's performance, and I love this smooth, extravagant, or just this, this nice beat. Remind me of the Middle of the Ocean production, where it's just super chilled out and drake's just giving you some of his best verses of the couple last of the last three years and one of the best drake songs in a pretty in a pretty good long time about three years and it's a fantastic track now when we go to the worst probably some of the worst songs on this track list would be songs like a calling for you where you get this solid 21 performance but this drake performance when he goes in high pitch doesn't sound natural doesn't sound human and that doesn't sound great if we're thinking of, i'm trying to think of some other songs gently is not that great i don't know i don't think he should have tapped into that that sort of house music type vibe i don't know if that necessarily worked but I don't think that was great either. Uh, Polar Opposites wasn't anything crazy. Um, I'll say the worst song, though. It might have to be... Oh, uh, maybe that song with... Uh, maybe Rich Baby Daddy. But, uh, with SZA on them. SZA gives you these nice vocals. She always fits on these tracks. But I don't like... I don't think that the f this sexy you had feature with Nina, I don't think that she had to be on this track list. And a Drake and Sexy Red crowd collab, this doesn't sound... It doesn't sound like it would work. And I don't know. I just find it corny. But what do you guys think? Is the best and worst song of Drake for all the dogs. And what would you rate this whole track? This one's going 1 to 10, but I'm out. Peace.